people want to see the cable working on the DC 12,000 Jabeo. I've got my uh, return pump on my EB8 is turned on. It doesn't need to be plugged into an EB8. I just do because I can. Uh, my variable speed STV1 is currently off. That's going to be the uh, variable port that will be controlling the pump. Uh, and from there, my lovely Apex mass, which everything comes down. Got our power brick, the uh, harness that I make. I've got a double harness here, but only one thing hooked up to it. This is one of my old harnesses that I use for testing and cutting open a lot, so it's not as pretty as the normal ones I make. Um, got the one power cord going in to the tank, controlling the DC 12000. It's currently in there. Now the uh, profile itself is actually set on a one minute long ramp, so it takes a little while for everything to kick up to speed. Again, these harnesses are really easy to make. If you Google Torx's Jibeo to Apex harness on Google, you can learn how to make one yourself quite easily. Um, there's links that I've included as well to buy some of the harder to find items. Um, or, of course, feel free to contact me. I've been sending these all over the world as far as Indonesia as of this particular point in Malaysia for a couple times. Uh, most of my orders come from the US. Uh, it's been a good cable. I've lost count of how many dozens I've made at this particular point and just got a whole bunch of new stock in to make more cables. So, hope everyone who's purchased them has enjoyed them. They are getting pretty popular now. Uh, and they're very useful. pump is starting to kick in now, a little bit stronger. I've got it set to 52%. Uh, starts out at zero over a one minute long ramp. And you probably start to see the water level going down now. I have to have it set as a certain ramp speed. Uh, my DT is actually in another room across the house. My plumbing actually goes from the DT under the house back up into this room and down into my sump. So if I have too much power, then I get air bubbles in the line when I start it up. So i got to start it up slow. Uh, that also will help remove all the air bubbles that are in the lines. So again, i got my sump here. No aquarium here, just water top-ups. All my electrical stuff. And there we go probably hear the motor running, I'm not too sure. I shut off my reactors to hopefully let you guys hear. But there's the water level going down. Should stop a bit that black line across the right side of the screen there. You see it coming in there. Not too clear coming over my first baffle, there we go. And through the rest of the tank. Uh, the nice thing about this as well is uh, I've got my skimmer and a few other things related directly to this so it's not going to my skimmer won't start up unless all this is running properly I'm going to do a couple uh, float valves in here with my uh, breakout box that I made myself as well if you google my name Torx my nickname Torx and breakout box you should come across a few DIYs at how quick and easy it is to make a 10 to 15 dollar breakout box as well uh, most expensive part is getting the wire to connect to the apex. It's normally seven to ten dollars, and the rest is parts some people will even have around the house. Uh, again, this is just my sump. The uh, pipes coming from the ground, which go under my house to my DT in the other room. Back down. So there you go. Proof in, in the pudding, I guess. This works. I know a couple other people that have done it, but this is my own video, and hope everybody enjoys the harness.